All right, bailiff, uh, what is the next case? Docket number 1314, State versus Tyrone Weber. On March 14th of this year, Mr. Weber was seen entering a convenience store. He then pulled a revolver from his jacket, fired twice at the retreating clerk, and then emptied the cash register, only to be apprehended later. He's being charged with armed robbery and attempted murder. Uh, thank you, bailiff. The uh, evidence in this case seems pretty clear-cut. How does the defendant plea? Your Honor, on behalf of my client, Mr. Weber, I move that this case be dismissed and that Mr. Weber be released immediately. On what grounds do you suggest that this case should be dismissed? Your Honor, when our President Barack Obama first took office, he was asked if he was going to pursue charges against the Bush administration for criminal activities. His response was that America should be forward-looking, not backward-looking, thereby granting the Bush administration complete immunity from any crimes they had committed while they were in office. And I believe this sets a legal precedence that any crime committed in the past should be forgiven. Well, although the, uh, the logic of this forward-looking argument flies in the face of the very reason we have a criminal justice system, uh, who am I to second-guess the wisdom of our great President Barack Obama? Therefore, all charges are dropped. Mr. Weber, you are free to go. <coughs> Bailiff, what is the next case? Next is docket number 1315, State vs. Robert Gantz. Robert Gantz is charged with kidnapping several children from a playground and then torturing, raping, and murdering them before he was... Uh, sorry for interrupting, Bailiff, but I only need to know one thing. Did this crime happen in the past? Yes, it happened in the past. Well, then, because this is a forward-looking courtroom and not a backward-looking courtroom, I have no choice other than to drop all charges against Mr. Gantz. Very sorry for the inconvenience. You can pick up your torture paraphernalia on your way out. <coughs> Bailiff, what is the next case? Your Honor, I must object. You just left the child murder and rapist go free. Well, that's right. And uh, President Obama just left an entire administration of corrupt, torturing war criminals go free. So why aren't people upset about that? Huh? That's the way the law works. So what's the next case? Sorry, sir. I just can't do this anymore. I quit. Hello, friends. I'm Victor Godfrey from the Law Offices of Lying My Ass Off and Godfrey. And if you've been charged with a crime that you committed in the past, then we have a new foolproof legal defense that will guarantee your freedom. You see, because Obama set this insane legal precedence to allow Bush officials complete immunity from their crimes, we can now use that same legal argument to get your case dismissed. No matter what the offense, as long as your case goes to trial after you committed the crime, you cannot be held accountable. So call me at 555-NO-JUSTICE for a free legal consultation. That's 555-NO-JUSTICE.